Sunday, September 15th, 2013. One ounce of silver is $23. One Bitcoin is $127. Peace News Now is brought to you in part by friendsofweusecoins.com. Learn about Bitcoin at weusecoins.com. Keepers at a wildlife park in China removed a newborn baby elephant from his mother the first time after she stomped on him. Hoping that the injury was accidental, zookeepers returned the calf to his mother's side, but she rejected him again, so they had to remove him again. The baby elephant wept under a blanket for five straight hours before keepers were able to console him. Fortunately, he's been adopted by the keeper who rescued him, and they've formed a strong bond. This story brought to you by the Sons of Liberty Mint. Trade value for value with fine silver quarters from the Sons of Liberty Mint. Four quarters to a troy ounce. The most divisible, usable silver on the planet. Order some today at sonsoflibertymint.com. How you treat others matters. Evidenced by a celebratory obituary that has gone viral online. The surviving family wrote to the local paper that their mother was a serial abuser, and they're glad she's dead. Here are some excerpts. On behalf of her children, whom she so abrasively exposed to her evil and violent life, we celebrate her passing from this earth, and hope she lives in the afterlife, reliving each gesture of violence, cruelty, and shame that she delivered on her children. Most of us have found peace in helping those who have been exposed to child abuse and hope this message of her final passing can revive our message that abusing children is unforgivable, shameless, and should not be tolerated in a humane society. Our greatest wish now is to stimulate a national movement that mandates a purposeful and dedicated war against child abuse. Celebrity ghostwriter Michael Malice said of this article, quote, just because someone has sperm or eggs doesn't mean they're going to be even a mediocre parent. If you've been lucky, try to show compassion for those who haven't. Contrast that last obituary with another one from this week, from a woman called Pink, who died the very next day and left the same number of children. Some of the lessons she taught her family, quote, Go to church with a chicken sandwich in your purse. Give the chicken sandwich to your homeless friend after Mass. Go to a nursing home and kiss everyone. Invite new friends to Thanksgiving dinner. If they're from another country and you have trouble understanding them, learn to, quote, listen with an accent. Never say mean things about anybody. They are, quote, poor souls to pray for. Put picky eating children in the box at the bottom of the laundry chute. Tell them they're hungry lions in a cage and feed them veggies through the slots. Correspond with the imprisoned and have lunch with the cognitively challenged. Offer rides to people carrying a big load or caught in the rain or summer heat. Allow the homeless to keep warm in your car while you are at Mass. In her lifetime, Pink made contact time after time. Those who've taken her lessons to heart will continue to ensure that a cold drink will be left for the overheated garbage collector and mail carrier, every baby will be kissed, every nursing home resident will be visited, and the hungry will have a sandwich. Above all, Pink wrote, To everyone, about everything. She's survived by her children and grandchildren, whose photos she would share with prospective friends in the checkout line. May we all take a lesson from Pink and connect with our fellow man today. This story brought to you by friends of blockchain.info. Download the free Bitcoin wallet that syncs with your smartphone at blockchain.info. A dad who loves his teenage daughter decided to teach her a lesson in modesty with an unforgettable visual aid. After she insisted on wearing Daisy Dukes out to dinner with family, her dad cut off his jeans to make Daisy Dukes for himself and wore them out. He said of his action, quote, I'm a firm believer that the way we dress sends messages about us, and it influences the way we and others act. Instead of turning her response and disrespectful attitude into a major battle, I decided to make a small statement on how her short shorts may not be as cute as she thinks. Peace News Now is on the next news network and is brought to you in part by friendsofweusecoins.com. Share this episode with your friends, and if you enjoyed it, send some Bitcoin to donate.peacenewsnow.com. I'm Derek J, reminding you that peace is the way. <laughs>